Hi, my name is Jan Schuurmans and I'm going to show you how you can use the PID tuner. Before using the PID tuner I need to clarify a couple of things though. The PID tuner assumes the following abbreviations. SP is set point, MV is manipulated variable, that's the output of the PID. PMV is a perturbation on top of the MV. PV is the process variable that is controlled by the PID disk. So before using the PID tuner in the offline mode, you need to gather data. I will show that in a minute. Secondly, you need to gather the old PID settings. In this particular example, I'm going to look at the pressure loop that used these settings. Okay, let's get started. So here's the Excel sheet with the data, and I'm going to import that in the program in the PID tuner. So to do that, I'm going to start on project, new, offline project, and I'm going to select these data. I'm going to browse to the data where it's stored. It's over here. It needs to be a CSV format. And now you see the data in there, but as you can see, it's not clear. So we need to do some things to get the data sorted. There is probably a delimiter here, which is a comma. If I press that, now I see the data in columns. And then I need to tell the program what is the time and what is the MV, PMV and PV. So the first column in my case is time, that's all right. The second column is the MV, that is also okay. The third column is not the PMV, but it is actually the process variable. And uh, for the last column is the set point. Then create project. I'm going to give it a name. Pressure. Save it. We're going to define a model based on these data. To do that, we need to select first the data that we want to use for identification. Now I can use the upper screen or the lower screen for that. I'm going to use the lower screen to select data for identification, system identification. I'm dragging this data and then click select data data. Then I can wait for that screen to disappear and now I see in this screen the data I want to use for identification. Here's two options, first order time model or second order time delay model. Usually you can start with the first order time delay model. If I press auto fit that is usually okay but I can adjust the numbers uh, here in there and then press enter. Um, once I'm done and I'm happy with this, you move on to the next part of the tuning. And now you, before you retune the PID, uh, you should first check if the old settings are all right. So what I'll do is I'll put in here the old settings. If you didn't have old settings, you obviously cannot. You can skip this step. So I'm going to type in the old settings. And then I'm going to check if the old PID settings uh, were right. And if they match data. For that, I'm going to select a time range again. I, in this case, I can just use these data. And now I can use these data, the set point and the PV, to simulate the MV. If I just simulate it, you will see there is a major difference. So I can push the button estimate scaling and then I get an estimate of what the scaling is. It says uh, there could be a scaling of minus 15. Okay, well let's use that. That seems to be better than not using any scaling at all. I can close this screen. I can do also some more checking on this. 
I can use the measured set points changes. For that I have to select another time, another also the data. And now well I'm going to select a bit larger volume of data for that. I'm going to use all the data I have here. And you see that it matches the the simulation matches the measured data quite well because this is the measured and this is the simulated and now I can press auto tune and it will take into account the scaling that was used so I can use PI retune or can use PID retune now if I can I can go back to define model and in this case you, I can show you that the second order time delay is a bit gives a bit of a better fit as you can see and um, but here's an uh, exclamation mark and it says are you sure that you want to use that low damping well I'm not so sure and I'm going to use one because then the fit is still okay and that is a bit easier for tuning so now I can uh, if I press auto tune I can press the PID tuning and 